We're at the Leighton Library in Dunblane. Really is the most extraordinary place. This library dates back to more than 400 years. Can you tell us a bit about this library and how it came to be here? Mm. Well, we're Scotland's oldest purpose-built library. And the reason we're here is it's the bequest of Bishop Robert Leighton, who was the Bishop of Dunblane. He died in 1684 and he had quite a large personal collection of books, which he left to the clergy of the cathedral. And here they are. Mm, and it really is an amazing collection. There's 1,400 books mm -hmm. here, is that yeah, right? And that's it's right. mainly religious books, so he was a great scholar. Yes, uh, he could speak nine languages, so there's, yes, quite a lot of theological stuff, but it's not exclusively that. There's uh, science, geography, history, a lot of, I mean, it's a great time for exploration, so there's some in, very interesting maps and, and discoveries of, of extraordinary things. 1,400 books, which was the private collection of, the, of um, Bishop Leighton. Um, earliest one, 1504, mostly religious studies, but he was a very interesting intellectual man, could speak nine languages. So there's a lot of history and science and geography. It's not just commentary on the Bible, although naturally there's quite a lot of um, stuff there. I would say the majority of the early books are in Latin, because that was the language of scholars at the time. But by the time you move round to that side, when the trustees started adding books from 1700, we've got a wonderful collection, this time in English, mm -hmm. of uh, a lot of important books from the Age of Reason and the Age of Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finishing up to about the mid-Victorian period, when the library really fell into disuse and was locked up mm -hmm. with the rise of the public library in the town. Mm -hmm. It was said to be better than Edinburgh University's library at the mm -hmm. time when he was the principal there mm -hmm. in the uh, 1630s, I think it was. For you, what are kind of some of the most interesting pieces there? Well, an interesting thing happened recently. We had a, we had a small family group of Israelis come to visit and we know we have some Hebrew books. What we've discovered when they came and told us what we've got, because we didn't quite realise, was we've got an amazing collection of 17th century Hebrew texts owned by Christian scholars. <laughs> of a, of a collection of probably international importance uh -huh, that are uh -huh. there. He was one of Scotland's very few Hebrew scholars. He was fluent in Hebrew, and when he was reading books in Hebrew, he annotated the margins in ink in Hebrew. Right guy then. Absolutely astonishing. Apparently he can speak nine languages. Wow, that's incredible. In fact, you've got a Bible here which is written in, is it six? Eight, eight simultaneous languages, mm -hmm. um, including Syriac and Chaldaic. Mm -hmm. So these are sort of early biblical, biblical mm -hmm. languages. Mm -hmm. So yeah, printed in London in the 1650s. An absolute wonder of typography. Um, so I'm just going to open this one. I haven't looked inside this one yet. Oh wow, yeah, I have seen this. So this is Greek and... Latin, Latin, simultaneous yeah. translations. Again, that's from the early 1600s, uh -huh. but the quality of the typeface is that's fantastic. Gorgeous, yeah. It's really beautiful. Um, beautiful. And I just marvel that somebody has got that level of translation skills. But what we really have, I mean, apart from quite an unusual collection of, of an early theologian from the 15 and 1600s, is we've got Scottish history here. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got the history of thought, the history of ideas, all started off by a man who lived through one of the most extraordinary centuries that Scotland's ever known. Nearly everything we've got you can read online if you just type in the title. So it's not about the content so much. I think it's about just having the opportunity to do what I'm doing now mm -hmm. and to touch a book yeah. that's probably 300 years old. This is a real treasure and I think what we're trying to do with our, we want to restore the building we're entirely run on donations, but this is a real jewel of Scottish culture that people don't really know enough about yet, and we want to change that. Our grand target is just short of 500,000. That would be to completely renovate the fabric of the building. We're getting some quite mm -hmm. generous donations, but we probably need another 200,000 mm -hmm. to do everything, including develop the, the, the underfloor from mm -hmm. what's basically a storeroom now into mm -hmm. a really nice visitor centre. I mean, it really is a most extraordinary place, so thank you very much for showing us round, and best of luck. Well, thank you for the, coming. The mm. renovation because it really does feel like something that should be shared and mm. shared widely. Well, we hope so.